Three decades later, the Black Widow and Raptor may be pitted against each other in a second competition. Japan has been seeking foreign partners to help develop an F-3 air superiority-oriented stealth fighter for its air self-defense force. The concept that has attracted by far the most public interest is Lockheed Martin's proposal for a hybrid of the F-22 Raptor, the world's top air warfare platform, and the newer F-35 Lightning II. However, some commentators believe the F-3 program could see a resurrection of sorts for the F-22's rival of yore, the Northrop YF-23 Black Widow II an aircraft many believe would have surpassed even the Raptor's impressive performance. Competitors for the ATF program were narrowed down to Lockheed Martin and Northrop, which were then instructed to produce YF-22 and YF-23 prototypes of their respective designs to face off in a competition four years later. Lockheed's YF-22 possessed striking looks, but the YF-23, dubbed the Black Widow II, was truly otherworldly, with diamond-shaped wings to reduce radar observability and a very thin side profile evocative of the SR-71 Blackbird spy plane. Two huge rear tail fins were canted far outwards at a 50-degree angle above the wing, and were rotated by a fly-by-wire system to induce yaw, roll, and pitch. The YF-23 prototypes were tested for 65 flight hours. Both had in-flight refueling receptacles and a weapon bay that could accommodate four AIM-120 long-range missiles. Production aircraft would have also incorporated a single 20mm Vulcan cannon and a bay to carry two more short-range Sidewinders missiles. Both YF-22 and YF-23 prototypes did no yet include key systems avionics such as radars. In fact, the YF-23 reportedly scored ahead of the Raptor in most categories demonstrating higher sustained supersonic supercruise capabilities and longer range. Furthermore, it had an even lower radar cross-section, particularly from the side and rear, further reducing the range at which it could be detected. 